today, let me show you four of our favorite Automation Studio shortcuts that all start with the control key. Watch windows are such a common tool to use. If you right click a task in the logical view, go to open watch, you can open a watch window and that's great. You can also go to open up here, but it's such a common thing we do that I recommend you memorize control W and this will open a watch window. In this case, it's opening it with our last configuration, which is super handy. The other one is control space. If I start typing something here, like a variable I've already made, rather than having to remember exactly what you called it, you can hit control space and this is like an autocomplete. If there's only one option, it'll just fill that in. Otherwise, it'll show you your other options. Another really useful one if you're working on debugging or tracing down some errors is the logger. Control L for logger. Again, it's just a time saver, especially when you're on site or you're under pressure to figure something out. Automation Studio tends to behave best when you don't have too many tabs open at a time, especially multiple watch windows, that kind of thing. We recommend keeping only a couple open at a time. So under window, there's control shift F4 for close all of your tabs or control shift F5 to close everything but the one you're on, um, which are just really handy ones to know. So those are just a couple quick tips uh, that we love for Automation Studio. Hope they help you out. Uh, check out shipin6.team for more of our tutorials. Uh, catch you on the next one.